Fire marshals defending the decision to hold events at the new home of the Georgia State Panthers, formerly Turner Field. A Channel 2 investigation uncovered an inspection report detailing hundreds of problems with the sprinkler system. It's about fire safety. Channel 2's Nicole Carr live in Midtown Atlanta. So, Nicole, he says he's only concerned with the small part of the report, though. Right, that's because he says the state and inspectors aren't necessarily interpreting fire code the same way, nor do they have the same motives there. Uh, he does want to assure people that if you are allowed in any part of that stadium, then they have already fixed code issues in that area. Why would they re recommend that if that's not a part of the... Well, it's a recommendation. It's, again, they recommend a lot of stuff, and their recommendations don't necessarily mean mandatory requirements. State Fire Marshal Dwayne Garris defends the decision to allow events to go on in Georgia State University Stadium, formerly Turner Field, as the school is in the middle of bringing its fire protection system up to code. And if the building was occupied completely, then I would say probably about 30% would be of concern, but the building phase that's occupied right now, I have absolutely no concern. He's referring to the report we showed you on Thursday, declaring most of the school sprinkler system and the pump that feeds it isn't working properly. The August inspection was completed by a Decula based fire protection agency. In part, it recommends nearly 700 sprinkler parts be recalled and those sprinklers be replaced. Even in the code itself, it says those are a recommended uh, and should be, rem should be remedied versus a shall be. To, to the person sitting in the stands that says, okay, to me that's a play on words when it comes to my safety. Well, uh, as a code official and in, in, a, in being involved in different code bodies that I've been involved in, should is very specifically spelled out in the code that says it is strictly a recommendation uh, and not a requirement. Garrett says he's not denying the report is correct, but inspectors aren't necessarily recalling parts based on federal mandates, rather manufacturer recalls. Should everybody be on the same page when it comes to codes? The answer is yes. But everybody you're not. Should. Well, <laughs> there's difference of opinions. For those who have questioned the conditional clearance of a state-owned property with so many problems, Garrett says he's only a stakeholder in safety. Pressure or not. I still have an oath of office that I'm responsible for, and my whole charge is protection of life and property, and I got to be able to sleep at night. Okay, so the majority of the stadium will be brought up to code in phases as those renovations are complete, and the fire marshal is sure that the city's water supply and pressure is adequate uh, while they look into fixing that backup pump that uh, is not up to code. But the state won't inspect the stadium again until the law requires a year from now, next August, because they don't have an enough inspectors, only 16 for the entire state. Live in Midtown, Nicole Carr, Channel 2 Action News.